What's up guys? We've got another Lean Hybrid Muscle Reloaded update for you today. We're down in uh, St. Petersburg again where Elliot and I live enjoying a nice day and uh, wanted to bring you a video today. We're going to be talking about the hybrid diet which is a nutrition rotation strategy and uh, you'll learn a lot about uh, partitioning which I think you'll find really interesting. Enjoy the video. Hey Elliot Hulse here. Today in this video you're going to learn the answer to the question that I'm often asked Elliot, how did you lose weight so quickly? Well, the truth is that I didn't lose it that quickly. In fact, I had to experiment with a few different things before settling upon the plan that I'm gonna show you here today with regard to nutrition. Like I told you in other videos, there is a two-part uh, system here with regard to building lean hybrid muscle, and one is exercise and one's nutrition. So today we're gonna to focus on nutrition. And what we call this here is our hybrid partitioning diet and it's really a combination of several different diets and meal plans that I've experimented with, experimented with over the past few months to allow me to get the results that I've gotten and I want to share it with you today so that you can try it out yourself. Stay tuned to the end of the video because at the end I'm going to give you all of the resources that I've used in order to put this thing together and you can go out and check the stuff out yourself even the scientific stuff, if you are kind of a book worm, you can go and grab the stuff that I'm going to share with you so you can really understand what's happening with the hormones and stuff and you don't have to take my word for it. So here, let's just get right into it. Here's what we've got. We've got the week broken down into one, two, three, four different segments. Now I found that this works really well, breaking the week up into segments. Um, just for convenience and the results are, are incredible so you can follow this like I said it's convenient you can follow this for an extended period of time without burning out um, or like just kind of losing your mind being on one diet for quite some time this rotation idea that I came up with or the uh, the switching between anabolic type meal plans for muscle building and catabolic type meal plans for burning fat come from two resources. So take your pen out real quick if you want to check these out. The idea first came about when I started experimenting with Nick Nilsson's metabolic surge program. He, uh, he actually cycles from week to week. So he goes from having a, a high fat, high protein, low carbohydrate week to a higher carbohydrate, lower fat week. I experimented with this for quite some time and it worked pretty well until it didn't. And like one of my favorite resources, I'll show you his book, Dan John says, everything works until it doesn't. So that, Nick, hats off, your workouts and your programs were perfect. Um, just after a while, I, I just started mixing it up. Actually, I started cheating on your diet and started mixing it up instead of going the entire week and I was able to achieve significant results on what I'm about to share here today. So uh, another resource that allowed me to experiment with the cycling of catabolic and anabolic type diets or high calorie and low calorie type diets is Ori Hoffmeckler in his book Maximum Muscle, Minimum Fat. In fact, if you are the Brainiac type, this is the book you're going to want to get your hands on to really understand what I'm going to talk about with regard to the hormones. The difference between the partitioning that we use or the hybrid diet and what Ori Hoffmeckler re uh, recommends is he does it on a daily basis. Nick Nilsson weekly basis uh, throughout the month you're cycling from one week to the next. Ori Hoffmeckler daily basis. So basically he his theory or his program, because it's not even a theory, it works, is that you don't eat during the day, he calls it the warrior diet, you don't eat during the day and then you eat a high amount of calories in the evening. Now I experimented with that for quite a while and it did work until it didn't. And again I have to take blame because I started cheating on his diet. I would go the entire day without eating any food and then come evening time I would gorge myself. So it was no holes barred. I'd eat anything that was in the refrigerator. I even started making up my own snacks like mustard on pickles and all types of weird stuff because I was just like famished from going the entire day without eating. Um, I was kind of doing it wrong, 
But I also found that if I can cycle things as I'm going to show you in a moment, that I wouldn't cheat as often because I'd always be looking ready or looking forward to the next phase instead of looking forward to eating after starving myself. So if you're wondering where some of these ideas come from, that's where I began. Now, let's go and talk about the first part of the partitioning that we use for our lean hybrid muscle reloaded, and I'm going to talk to you about what that means in a moment, uh, meal plans. Monday and Tuesday, and, and write this down because like I said, I want you to be able to try this stuff out yourself. Um, I know it works, but I'd love to see your results also. Monday and Tuesday are kind of our anabolic days. Now that's not 100 entirely true. Uh, they're very anabolic, and I'll tell you why in a moment, but we call these our anabolic days because you're eating high fat, high protein foods, um, and you're keeping your carbohydrates very low, uh, 30 to maybe 80 grams of carbohydrates per day. Um, the reason why we call it anabolic is because the high amount of saturated fats, and yes, I'm recommending you eat saturated fats, things like egg yolks, butter, and cod liver oil on these days, act as a precursor to the hormone testosterone, or our sex hormones. Um, one of the resources that I use for developing this day was Vince Gironda, and that's why you see his name down here. These two days were sort of inspired by the information that he has, um, and I want to thank my friend Brian Letterman for sending me a lot of his old... Vince Gironda wrote a lot of uh, books and pamphlets back in the 70s, I believe, that are really out of print. And uh, the, the way I was able to get most of my information with regard to specifically what he was doing was his, a friend, Brian Letterman, sent me all of his old courses. Um, I believe my buddy Mike Westerdahl and partner on this uh, Lean Hybrid Muscle program has a Vince Gironda book that you can check out later on, or I'll put a link for you. But anyway, if you take a look at what he says with regard to that and you, you check it up against Ori Hoffmeckler's information in Maximum Muscle, you'll see that this, these are like really anabolic days. And you're also draining your tissue uh, from, with, you're draining it of glycogen. You're really just depleting the tissue. So when I say it's anabolic, you're also going to end up switching into a catabolic mode once you get through it, especially after the workouts that are designed for these days where you're just, you're totally draining the tissue of glycogen. So you'll feel strong until you don't. And we really kicked that next phase uh, into effect with this 24-hour fast switch. So we're really, we're going from one extreme or one high to a low. We're eating lots and lots of anabolic producing foods into eating nothing. And uh, this day actually came to, uh, came about when I started experimenting, experimenting with Eat Stop Eat, which is Brad Pylons or Pylons. Uh, program. I did that for several weeks, got great results, uh, until I didn't. <laughs> uh, because on the days that I was eating, I was pro probably overeating, and I also ended up feeling flat when I would fast too many times. At, at that time, and what Brad recommends is two fasting days a week. And I was doing that, it just ended up, I think, being too much for me to handle, um, and I was losing way too much strength doing that. One of the things that, uh, that was recommended also to me by uh, Rusty Moore, who's another author, was to use branched chain amino acids on your fasting days. So take that down real quick. By the way, this is totally off the cuff, so if I bounce back and forth, uh, just forgive me. Anyway, so uh, Brad really goes into great detail about how growth hormone plays a big uh, part in this particular phase. So it's catabolic slash anabolic, and like Ori Hoffmeckler uh, describes in his book, and like I described in the PowerPoint presentation that you saw before, when we, in, when we create a catabolic environment, we induce anabolism. So like I said before, like it's catabolic, but it's slightly anabolic. And it all has to do with what's going on with growth hormone. So definitely a resource you're gonna wanna pick up, Eat, Stop, Eat, to really understand what's going on with the growth hormone during this fasting day.